In the midst of the Ford government's $8.3 billion Greenbelt scandal, the government finally released their climate impact assessment report, a report they've been promising for years. And it's not surprising they quietly released this report because it shows unequivocally the huge risks the people of Ontario face to our food and farming sectors, our infrastructure, our communities, our health and well being due to the climate crisis. The report calls for drastic reductions in climate pollution and an aggressive effort at climate adaptation, something the Ford government has resisted every step of the way. It highlights the importance of protecting our farmland and our forests and wetlands from the Premier's attacks on the Greenbelt and his attacks on nature all across the province. It calls out a government that has been aggressively reversing climate action in the province of Ontario. The Ontario Greens will continue to lead on reducing climate pollution and on climate adaptation. One of the disappointments of this report is that it contains no fiscal impacts. But thankfully, the Ontario Greens asked the financial accountability officer to assess the financial implications of climate impacts in the province. This decade alone, climate will increase costs to public infrastructure alone by $26.2 billion. That doesn't even include all the private property impacts. We need a government that is going to aggressively reduce climate pollution and invest in what the Ontario Greens have been calling for a $2. billion a year climate adaptation fund. And we need a government that is going to protect the people and places we love in this province. Not break all the rules so a handful of wealthy, well-connected Ford elites can cash in $8.3 billion while increasing threats to nature and our food and farming sector in this province by paving over the Greenbelt.